about the properties of whole number for multiplication and division in detail. First, properties for multiplication. First property is closure property. If x and y are the two whole numbers, the multiplication of two whole number will also the whole number. For example, 3 and 7 are the two whole number. On multiplying them, we will get 21 and it is also the one of the whole number. x equal to 0 and y equals to 6. On multiplying them, we will get the answer 0 and it is also the whole number. So, closure property gets satisfied by the multiplication. Next, commutative property. If we multiply the two whole number x into y or y into x, the both answers will be same or they are equals to each other. For example, x equals to 4 and y equals to 5. So here, if we will multiply 4 into 5, we will get the answer 20. Or, if we will multiply 5 into 4, then also answer will be 20. So they both are equals to each other. That's why the commutative property is satisfied by multiplication. Next, associative property. The property states that if x, y, z are three whole number, then if we will multiply y and z first or if we will multiply x and y first and then remaining to the z, the both the way answer will be equals to each other. For example, 4, 8 and 10 are three whole number. Suppose we multiply 8 into 10 first, then also we will get the here answer 320. Or if we multiply 4 into 8 first from three numbers, then also we will get the answer 320. They are equals to each other. Next, distributive property. If x, y, z are three whole number, then x into in bracket y plus z is equals to x into y plus x into z. It means the outside of the bracket x is distributed to every number inside the bracket. So, x is multiplying to y also as well as x is multiplied to the z also. That's why the distributive property is applicable for multiplication of whole number. So, now to prove this property, let's see some more examples based on distributive property. The example based on distributive property. Use distributive law to evaluate 984 into 102. Note that here we need not to multiply directly because it is mentioned here we have to use the distributive property. So let's use here. Now the from the given both number we need to split any one number into two parts. We can also write 102 is 100 plus 2. So, 984 into 100 plus 2. Now, here we can apply the distributive property to solve the bracket. Outside of the bracket, 984 is present, which will multiply to inside the bracket every number. So, 984 will multiply to 100 plus 984 will multiply to 2. So, that we return in the next step. 984 into 100 plus 984 into 2. After multiplying 984 into 100, we will get answer 98,400. And on multiplying these two numbers, we will get the answer 1968. After that, let's add them. After adding, we got the final answer 1,368. So, this is our final answer for this question. Next property is existence of identity. If x is any whole number and if it is multiplied,
multiply to 1, then we will get the number itself. So, for example, 9 into 1. 9 is a whole number and whole number multiplied by 1 is equals to the number itself. So, 9 into 1 equals to 9. 8 into 1 equals to 8. So, this is called as the existence of identity. And it is applicable for multiplication. Next, multiplicative inverse. If x is any whole number, then its multiplicative inverse will be 1 upon x. If phi is a whole number, then its multiplicative inverse will be 1 upon phi. Next example is 679 into 8 plus 679 into 2. So here we want to apply the distributive property. So while applying the property, we can understand here 679 we can take the common. So let's take that 679 as a common and remaining 8 plus 2 inside the bracket. So while taking the common, if you took 679 outside, what will be remain that will come inside the bracket. So 8 plus 2 will be remaining inside the bracket. So 679 into in bracket 8 plus 2. So as we know we are solving the bracket first. So 8 plus 2 will be 10. And then multiplication will be 6790. Closer property, associative property, commutative property, existence of identity, existence of inverse. These properties are not applicable in case of division. Let's see one example of pattern here. As per the given, 111 divided by 3 equals to 37. Then 222 divided by 6 equals to 37. 333 divided by 9 equals to 37. So to, we need to identify the next two series. Here we need not to do the actual division. We need to observe the given pattern in a particular manner. Now let's see here which are the sequences followed by the given pattern. So as we can see 1, 2, 3 and then the referendum next one will come 3 times 4. It will come 3 times 5 as per our observation. Next we can see there is a division operation here. Now as we saw 3 then they divide by 6 then 9 means it is a 3 multiples of the 3 or we can tell 3 table. So of course here it will come 12 and here 15 and on dividing always in the 3 steps we got 37. So next step also we will get the answer 37. So patterns can be solved by applying the logical thinking in the examples. So without solving we can find the particular pattern from the given old sequence of the pattern. So such a way you have to solve the remaining examples based on pattern from exercise 5th E. The pattern is an arrangement of shapes or arrangements of number in a particular sequence. So you have to solve this given number patterns you have to complete these pattern in your notebook examples based on matchstick pattern there are four pattern drawn by the matchsticks so how many matchsticks are needed for the nth term or nth pattern so for this we will prepare the table for shape 1 we will need one matchstick. For shape 2 we need four matchstick. For shape 3 we need seven matchsticks. And for fourth shape we need ten matchsticks. 
As we observe, every figure number of matchsticks are increased by 3. It means plus 3 for every next matchstick pattern. So the formula is n into 3. Now let's put the n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 into the given formula. We will get answer 3, 6, 9 and 12. These numbers are completely different than the table which we form. So to make them equal, we will subtract 3 minus 2, 6 minus 2, 9 minus 2 and 12 minus 2 so that our answer will match with the table which we form from the given figure. So the final formula is n into 3 minus 2. So to find the number of matchstick for fifth figure or fifth term we can use this formula 5 into 3 minus 2 that is 13. And if we will draw the matchstick pattern for it and we will count the same answer we will get that is 13. By using this formula we can find any number of figure and the required matchstick to form that figure.